All right, welcome back. I'm just gonna get right into what I'm working on right now. So I took out the hydro boost, the brake lines, power steering lines, and the ABS out of the Cobra to mock up on the Celine. I need to make sure my previously marked mounting locations uh, all matched up with all this stuff going in before I you know, went ahead and started putting holes into the frame rails that I previously shaved smooth. Tough to see, but those are the factory spots. I just had to break through the frame rail sill, the frame rail sill panel, whatever you want to call it. I drilled two holes for the brake line brackets, and then just also had to drill out one for the factory power steering bracket. The factory mounting locations are there, it's just that frame rail sill covers them, right? So I had previously marked out where the factory locations were, so it's just a matter of matching up the stencil and then drilling out the hole through the panel. Over here, I had to drill a slot in for the second stud to the ABS unit since the frame rail panels also covered it up. I wasn't going to run the ABS module, but over time, I decided to just keep it so I could just directly swap everything over and have it plumbed like the factory did. If I do decide to delete it, I could still run an ABS block off plate, but not really considering it anymore at this point. So now that I've got all my holes marked and mounting locations drilled, I'm going to take it all out and then start the final engine bay prep for paint. <laughs> a lifetime ago I coated the bay in epoxy and then a polyester surfacer, basically like a high build spray on filler to fill any low spots and welds, and then just left it like that to tackle the other things I wanted to address on this car. So the time has finally come to block it out to knock down the polyester filler and then put down the last few and final coats of epoxy and surfacer to get it ready for the base coat and clear coat. If you take a look on the Cobra, you can see this thick patchwork sealer covering up these uh, pretty large gaps underneath. It's kind of sloppy and it feels pretty brittle. So I decided to just do without it and weld most of this stuff shut on the Celine. So over here, I welded up some of the holes and gaps down the side. These two slugs on top are the factory welds. The seams near the top pinch welds also got welded shut, and this whole area will get re-seam sealed. So here I've got these super nice weld nuts, uh, really heavy duty, nicely machined and they have a lot of threading to them. For now, I only need one of these, but I'll be using it to relocate and beef up a chassis ground for the front of the car. For the most part, I've moved the wiring harness in the front of the car to the outside fender wells, so things have kind of changed and moved around a little bit, and I've also relocated the battery to the rear of the car with a kill switch, so the wiring configuration will be a bit different, and part of that was welding this new location for a ground. So here's the weld nut. And it's going to get welded to this adapter plate I made, which will then be welded to the underside of the frame rail. Next I'll be working on this bottom gap here. This entire seam here is going to be sealed 
and once you get down in here I feel like the gap is just too big to just glob sealer in there so I'm just gonna modify it and tuck it up a bit Just cut it in the middle here, pulled it tight in the corner, welded it, and gap is gone. been working on getting all this urethane off of the windshield area by mainly just using a razor but it's been a really slow process there's still a bit of residue left so I think I'll move to some 3m stripping discs and just take it all down and be done with it if it's one thing I can't stand it's it's this type of stuff I've said it before but man this whole sanding process sucks truthfully Got this side all stripped down, cleaned up, ready to be coated in epoxy primer. Also removed all the urethane from this uh, lower windshield section. Going to clean it all up and we'll be ready to paint soon.
So here I've got everything sanded down in the outer fender wells and all of that junk seam seal removed. The plan is to cover from this point back and all the way to the front clip and Raptor liner. I've already had the Raptor liner sprayed here in this area, but I sanded it down so I could kind of blend everything in this inner fender area a little more seamlessly. Uh, it'll continue on to the front clip and also this lower part of the frame rail. So basically this whole underside, and that way this whole outer clip is done and off the list. This top piece will be masked off along with all of this area going into the rest of the chassis leading into the door jams. So all of that can get coated in base coat and clear. The pinch welds already have Raptor liner, so I'm going to blend it all the way up here where the seam is under the side skirts, and that will tie everything in nicely from the underside.
Primer gray to black and back to primer gray again. So close and yet so far. No, but seriously, I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, it was a ton of work between the sanding, blocking, prepping, masking, cleaning, painting, whatever. Uh, it was a grind. But I'm really happy to be done with it. Uh, it looks great. It looks good enough for me, that's for sure. The nice thing about painting it in the black epoxy is it kind of simulated how the bay would look more or less in the base coat and clear since it's got a little bit of a gloss to it. So I was able to see if there were still any you know, major imperfections or problem areas. Uh, and it all came out pretty good. Uh, there were no major issues. The medium build primer definitely took care of any of the remaining minor imperfections that were there. Uh, all that's left is basically the final smoothing and sanding before the base coat and clear coat goes on. But this is as far as I take it. I'm gonna let the body shop take it from here. Uh, and by that, I'm talking the whole car. When the engine bay gets painted, the whole chassis will get painted all at once. I've been talking with the body shop, trying to work out a game plan and a timeline for paint. And it's looking like that will take place over this winter at some point, uh, which is super exciting. It's been a long time coming, but then again, I had a lot of stuff I wanted to tackle on this car. I'll also say the Raptor liner came out great. Uh, it was tedious with all the masking off and blending the coatings like in these areas. Everything is tied in nice and clean. Like the underside and pinch weld areas going up to the rocker area. Also the underside trans tunnel going into the engine bay. It's all got a nice smooth transition. And because I got the inner fender wells done, it will allow me to install all the fuel lines and brake lines that will run up from underneath the car all the way to the engine bay. Uh, and those will be installed permanently. And once the lines are in, then the rear suspension can go in for good. Um, same with the front. And that will be my focus so I can get it rolling again and, and get it to the body shop. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I'll stop talking. It's looking really good, uh, making progress, and that's really all that matters to me. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.